Hey everybody, it is Friday the 13th, 2017. I've just released a couple of videos that showed some extremely high radiation levels out here in San Antonio. Now, I just pulled those videos because I am not sure what is causing these levels to be so high, and I don't know if it's a faulty machine or what. I actually called the manufacturer I called the, the company where I got this thing at, and I said, look, I just picked this thing up about a week ago. The radiation levels were totally normal, and now they're just skyrocketing to the point of where it's causing some concern for me. And I said, you know, do you think it could be faulty, or, or what's the deal here? He said, well, what's, what are the levels? And I told him, I said, there was one point where the levels got up to over seven, yes, over seven microsieverts per hour. So that's 70 times the normal levels. I'm sorry, 700 times the normal levels. And my watch... I mean, it's been hanging out right around 0.13 microsieverts per hour, and it's been extremely accurate in the past. I said, so what is going on? I thought to myself, could this thing be picking up on a different type of radiation that my watch doesn't pick up on? That's why I called up the, the, man, the place that I picked this thing up at. And the guy said, replace the batteries. So I had took the batteries out previously, and it didn't do anything. I replaced the batteries, and it's still showing just stupid high levels. So he thinks that it might actually be the tube itself in here might have gotten shaken and that's what's causing these high numbers. So I don't want anybody to freak out. I pulled the other videos. You know, let's let's keep a level head here, and I will definitely keep you guys posted. I'm going to send this back and get a new one. They're going to replace this for me, and we're going to see what's going on when this is replaced. Now, I will keep track of my watch. Once again, you know, this thing I've seen go all the way up to four microsieverts per hour, but that was when I was in the air heading to Anchorage, Alaska, and then back from Anchorage to Texas. So other than that, it had never picked up levels anywhere close to that before. Remember one time I was out in Devil's Tower area when I was right next to the tower, it showed 0.6, which I thought was extremely high. But that's probably some type of natural rock or something out there that emits natural radiation. So just wanted to let you know. Hope you're having an awesome day. I hope I didn't freak anyone out. I certainly made myself nervous. And let's just hope for the best right now and keep a level head. So question everything, and we'll get to the bottom of it. Have a fantastic day. Be the change you want to see. Everybody. It is Friday the 13th, 2017. I've just released a couple of videos that showed some extremely high radiation levels out here in San Antonio. Now, I just pulled those videos because 